Hi everybody, it's Julie Ebersol for Ellen Hudson LLC. Ellen and I recently came back from CHA Winter 2015 down in Anaheim, California. And if you're not sure what CHA is, it is the world's largest trade show to the craft and hobby industry. It's only open to retailers like Ellen Hudson LLC. And it's basically a marketplace or showcase for thousands of fantastic new products that are going to be coming soon. We're gonna be bringing them into the shop and we're so excited about making them available to you. Now, if you like us on Facebook or you follow our Instagram feed, you saw us sharing a great, great many things and it was hard to narrow things down. But after the show, Ellen and I kind of sat down and hashed out what we felt were our favorite finds from the show and we kind of limited it to 10 items. I'm gonna do my best to showcase those here. And first up is the Tonic Comfort Guillotine Trimmer. Now, this is a really cool model of trimmer. I've always been fond of the guillotine trimmer by Tonic. I have an eight and a half inch model. This model is available in the UK, but it's coming soon to the US. And the great thing about it is that it has an eight and a half inch blade and the blade, uh, the ruling guide across the top is six inches. So you'll be able to rotate your eight and a half by 11 inch cardstock and easily see where to cut it in half at the five and a half inch mark because of that six inch ruling guide across the top. I can't wait to get my hands on this new trimmer. And next up are the embossing folders. These are called the Next Level. They're six by six by We Are Memory Keepers, and they create some of the most awesome embossing effects ever. Very modern um, and fun, and you can see that it works on letterpress paper and this beautiful metallic foil finished cardstock as well. Also by We Are Memory Keepers is the Fuse. This is a photo sleeve tool. It gets very hot, it has interchangeable tips. And these tips are gonna enable you to create different kinds of pockets in your photo sleeves or your page protectors. And it works with a very specially designed metal ruler. You need to work on a tempered glass surface and you will use the tips with this metal ruler to create perfectly straight lines. You can make pockets, um, any dimension that you like there on your page protector. It's gonna be awesome for those of us who like to make those little shaker pockets on our scrapbook pages, or we like to make shaker cards. And it's one of those tools we're very anxious to get our hands on. I believe it's going to be available in February or early March. Very cool. Now the gold trend was everywhere, but we felt that my mind's eye really nailed it with their on trend and fancy that collections featuring gorgeous, gorgeous colors and patterns, especially these six by six pads with beautiful gold foil metallic accents. And they carry that over into their embellishments here with the sequins and the enamel dots. And we really thought it was cool to see that they created frameable art. So larger 12 by 12 type pads with frameable art that also carried the same color palette and metallic accents. Now, if you're anything like us, you have been on the hunt for an awesome white pen, and we believe we have found it in the Kirarina Wink, which is an opaque white pen that we discovered over at the Imagination International Copic booth. It is not a gel pen, but it writes so smoothly, it has fantastic opacity, and wow, I can't wait to get my hands on it and start writing in white ink on everything, especially black cardstock. <laughs> One trend that we picked up on right away as far as the rubber stamping goes were these extremely large, and I'm talking ginormous, botanicals, and they were awesome. There wasn't any one manufacturer in particular. This is a Prima Marketing on the left. You've got Tim Holtz for Stampers Anonymous on the right, and Stampendous brought in some beautiful styles of butterflies to accompany their floral designs. And I don't know anybody who is not in love instantly with the Sumi brushwork over there at Penny Black. Their designers just did an amazing job on the samples. They're just gorgeous. Now, Catherine Scanlon is an artist whose fresh, funky style is new to us, and we love that she took her designs and went bold, beautiful, and big. Really, really big. And it's gonna be fantastic for those who like to stamp in their art journals, and I personally love the fact that they fill an entire card front. Now, if you're the type that likes to be organized, or you're hoping, like me, to get organized, <laughs> <laughs> there were planners everywhere. It's the hot new thing right now. But I have to admit, I fell in love with the Color Crush Personal Planner designed by Megan Hepner for Webster's Pages. I just thought she knocked it out of the park. I love the colors of the different planners. They had an assortment of colors, and I thought they were fresh and beautiful and very sleek and sophisticated. I also love the little pouches that you could get that coordinate with the planners that contain all your little goodies for embellishing your planner and personalizing it. 
Now, by very, very happy coincidence, Hero Arts came out with some awesome uh, clear stamp sets that can be used for personalizing the Color Crush Planner. They coordinate perfectly, so be on the lookout for that. And of course, you can decorate and embellish your planner with washi tape, stickers, die cuts, those awesome and adorable paper clips that come in different shapes. But what I found particularly ingenious was Megan's line of scrapbook papers. This is a collection of 12 different sheets, one for each uh, month in the year. They're called These Are the Days, and they can be cut apart, and the different pieces can be used in your planner. They can be used in Instagram photo albums because the scale of the designs are small enough for that, but there's also larger scale pieces on each sheet that you can cut apart and use in a 12 by 12 layout. And I just thought she really put a lot of thought and care into the whole system. And I just love it. Now, when Ellen and I got to Cosmo Cricket's booth, I think our jaws hit the floor because we were so impressed and just absolutely mesmerized by Julie Comstock's concept of Just Add Watercolor. These are pre-designed watercolor papers. This one is an eight by eight inch pad that you see here. And the designs have already been done for you. Some might be a clear resist, um, others gold foil, and some are a combination of both. And all you do is add your favorite watercolor medium, whatever that may be. So you could use the 12 by 12 inch papers in the collection or the eight by eight inch. There were note cards, there were tags, and different components. You could cut the larger pieces down to size. Um, it's just an overall fantastic system that's going to make you feel like an artist, and we were just mesmerized by the whole thing. Now, Ellen and I are always on a quest for the perfect adhesive, and we had never heard of Stick It before, and it was all the way at the very, very back of the showroom floor, and we were so amazed by this. It's a very thin, delicate sheet adhesive, but what's super awesome about it is the liner paper, which is also very thin, and it's delicate, but it holds up. It's very sturdy, and you can remove it without it falling apart or your adhesive falling apart. You can actually coat both sides of a piece of cardstock and run it through with a low-profile die. And it can be a very delicate low-profile die, like this one here. And you can use it for glittering, flocking, foiling. We were just amazed at how well this adhesive was to work with and how well it performed. So very exciting. <laughs> Maybe nobody else gets as excited about uh, adhesive as we do, but we're pretty stoked. <laughs> okay, brace yourself. Are you ready for our number one favorite find? It is deco foil. Yay! Now, the cool thing about deco foil, there were a variety of other foiling systems there at the show, but we were most impressed with deco foils very comprehensive system that allows for a variety of applications. You can use this machine to apply the foil um, to paper surfaces and look at the gorgeous colors. It's like taste the rainbow. Skittles anybody? <laughs> You can use the machine to apply these different beautiful colors of foil to paper surfaces and look at the, the variety of colors was really tremendous. But you can also use their iron-on transfer sheets to apply foil to fabric. So you can do a lot of home decor projects with this system. There you can see a pillow and the upholstery has the foiling applied to it. But they also had a transfer adhesive that you could use even with a brush and you could brush it onto a surface and apply the foil that way and we thought this program was particularly versatile we're very excited to be bringing it into the shop and there you have it our 10 favorite finds of cha 2015. look for these products and so much more at ellenhudson.com you can like us on facebook at ellen hudson llc and follow us on instagram thanks for watching